everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Helen, and today I want to continue my series of Skincare 101, and today we're going to be discussing sunscreens. This is arguably one of the most important parts of a skincare routine, so buckle up for this one. If you guys are interested in my other Skincare 101 videos, I have them in a playlist, so I'll link them up above and in the description box down below. So I'm gonna guess that most of you guys know what sunscreens are. Sunscreens are a skincare product that usually have a cream or moisturizer texture. You apply it on your skin to protect you from any UV damage from the sun. A more important question is why do we need to wear sunscreen? Sunscreen is super important and everyone should really be wearing it. The reason being is that your skin can be really damaged by UV rays if not protected properly. It can cause increased risk of skin cancer, which is probably the most important reason you should be wearing sunscreen. And it also causes aging such as wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. So essentially, if you're using all these other skincare products and you don't wear sunscreen, it's practically useless. Really, everyone should be wearing sunscreen from the moment they're born. That's why there's such thing as baby sunscreen. A lot of times when we're younger, like kids, we don't wear sunscreen, myself included, because you really can't see the effects of UV damage until you're older. So for example, all the years that I was in middle school and high school and I didn't wear sunscreen, the UV rays actually damaged my skin on a deeper level. So as I get older and my skin layers start to shed, the damage from years ago will actually surface and then that's when I'll have like dark spots and whatnot. However, it's never too late to start wearing sunscreen consistently. You really should be making a habit of wearing sunscreen every single morning after your moisturizer. I've always wondered and a lot of people wonder if you should be wearing sunscreen even if you're inside and I always say yes. There's actually two main types of UV rays, UVA rays and UVB rays. UVA rays are ones that penetrate deeper into your skin and can cause skin cancer as well as aging and hyperpigmentation. UVB rays are usually the ones that cause damage to the surface of your skin such as sunburns or tanning. So most windows in the US do block out UVB rays. However, windows don't really block out UVA rays so that's what we're worried about. So unless you live in an area that the UV index is zero, you really should be wearing an SPF 30 or higher. So going into the different types of of sunscreens, there's actually two main types of UV filters that they use in these sunscreens. The first one known as physical or mineral filters, and the second one is known as chemical UV filters. So most of the sunscreens that we're used to that causes a lot of white casts and feel very heavy on the skin, you know, the ones that we use while we're growing up when we're going to the beach or whatnot, most of them do contain physical UV filters. The most popular physical UV filters are titanium oxide and zinc oxide, and they're usually known to be a little bit heavier and have a white cast. This is due to the fact that physical UV filters usually sit on top of our skin and it actually reflects the UV rays, which makes sense why it doesn't really sink into our skin and can cause a little bit of a cast. A lot of professionals usually recommend that if you do have very, very sensitive skin, that you should stick to physical UV filters. However, nowadays there's a lot of really great new chemical UV filters that are also great for sensitive skin. A lot of them haven't been approved in the US yet because the FDA is a little bit slow at approving these new chemical filters, but right now they're really frequently used in Europe and Asia. Chemical filters are different from physical filters because they actually absorb the sun's UV rays and actually release them from your skin as infrared rays. They're also known to to have more of a lotion-like texture and not leave a white cast. Both kinds of sunscreens are safe to use and honestly the best sunscreen is one that you'll use every single day. I personally prefer chemical sunscreens over physical ones because I just find that they work underneath my makeup a lot better and they just give me a more pleasant sunscreen application experience. A lot of dermatologists really recommend using 1 4 teaspoon to 1 half teaspoon full of sunscreen every single day on your face and neck. But if you guys are like myself, I don't really want to measure my sunscreen out every single day, so I use the three finger method. Basically, this is where I draw three lines of sunscreens on all three of my fingers and just apply it to my face and neck, and usually that equates to around as much as you would need to use. However, of course it depends on your sunscreen's texture. I think this is a really good rule of thumb to make sure you're applying enough sunscreen for full UV protection. If you're wondering why we need that much sunscreen for our face and neck, Lab Muffin Beauty Science actually explained this in her TikTok video, which I'll have linked to down below. Essentially, our skin is bumpy, so we need to make sure all of the crevices are protected. And if you don't use enough sunscreen, that can cause patchy application, which leads to patchy UV protection. Of course, sun protection is not only limited to your face, make sure you wear it all over your body, but especially your face. Because I'm usually at home every single day, I make sure to apply sunscreen on my face, neck, and my hands. Oh, and also make sure to apply it on your ears as well because your ears have skin on it. <laughs> Thank you. 
And now for my sunscreen recommendations. So as for physical sunscreens, I've really been enjoying Access Wise Complete No Stress Physical Sunscreen. This leaves a very minimal white cast. I also find that it's not too heavy on the skin and it dries down matte. The ingredients of this is also really great. It includes mugwort and it's fragrance free. It's also SPF 50 as well. It uses zinc oxide as its only UV filter. For physical sunscreens, I really prefer when they use zinc oxide because it offers a broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection compared to titanium dioxide. Another sunscreen that I really like that also utilizes zinc oxide is the Cococine Daily SPF sunscreen. This one also has a minimal white cast and has no fragrance. This one is SPF 30 and feels very lightweight on the skin. And now moving on to chemical sunscreens, I usually prefer to use chemical sunscreens every single day. Another sunscreen that I also really like is the Crave Beauty The Beat Shield. Unfortunately, this one's a little bit harder to get for my international viewers out there. You can only get this if you live in the US or Korea. This one also has a really nice texture. I really recommend this for people who have combo or dry skin because it leaves that really nice glow on your face. This one has no fragrance, but it does include alcohol. I'll leave an article on why Crave Beauty decided to put alcohol in this product, but compared to other sunscreens that I tried, it doesn't really smell too much of alcohol, which I really hate, and it didn't seem to dry out my skin at all. But I just wanted to let you guys know that. Besides those sunscreens, other sunscreen brands that I really like that are a little bit easier to get in the US are Elta MD, Super Goop. I've also in the past really enjoyed Make Prem sunscreens as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Skincare 101. Let me know what other Skincare 101 video you'd like to see next. If you guys like this video, make sure to click the like button down below, subscribe for new videos every single week. I also post pretty much daily on TikTok and Instagram, so make sure to follow me there. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Never was it tough to feel like saying it. Never was it tough to go and take it. Gentlemen, the way my mama raised me. Yeah, she prayed for me since I was a baby. Now my life is orbited by angels. Now my life's obtaining on the paper. Yeah. Oh, I grew up. Take a spin on the back row. With your hands flying out the window. With your hand nothing but mileage. I'll pick you up. I got you. I got you. Stay pop, full size, summertime 14. Splashing cool water, you was that you know me. Wear your arms tight like a chain. Yeah. So tight, I can feel your name. Match with the puka, deep and wet it when the day ends. It's a deep.